एलिगेंट टाइटल एनिमेशन वीडियो नंबर फोर So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's select your text tool and type whatever text you want. I am going to type minimal. Hit Control A. I don't want any stroke for this text, so I'll choose fill color and this is white color. Select this text. Press Control Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab. Align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Press S for scaling option and scale it like this. Select this text. Hit Control D to duplicate it. Select the second text. and enable this option so we can see only this and type text hit control a go to the character let's increase the font size and i don't want any new fill i want stroke and stroke pixels i mean stroke width i am going to choose 1 pixels select this text oops sorry uh, let's increase the size of it like this then select this text press control alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally align it vertically and let's disable this option now select this text press s and let's increase the size of it somewhere around like this select this and go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect and let's increase to opacity to 100 increase the distance to 10 and let's increase the softness like this like Okay, so we will get something like this. Now we have to do certain animations. So for that, I'm going to select this rectangle tool and fill color. I'm going to choose white color only, and I'm going to create one simple shape over here, like this. Select the shape layer, press Control Alt Home, go to the Align tab and align it vertically only, like this. Now select the shape layer, press S. Let's unlink this option, create one keyframe, and let's make this zero on Y axis. Let's go to around 20 frames forward and let's make this 100. Then select those keyframes. Hit F9. Go to the graph editor. Select this graph. Shift Hold. Let's move this handles over here and this handles over here like this. Then select this shape layer. Press P for position. Create one keyframe over here and go to around 1.20 frames. And now we will move this thing from here. to somewhere around over here like this okay and now what we need to do we need to select this rectangle tool again and we will create one rectangle from here to here like this then press control alt home then select the shape layer let's move this over here with the help of close bracket i mean open bracket then press p for position create one keyframe go to this keyframe Press V and by holding Shift, I'll move this over here. Now select both the keyframes. Hit F9. Go to the graph editor. Select this graph by holding Shift. Move this handle over here and move this handle over here. So if you see, you will get something like this. Now this is gonna be the mask for this minimal. So I'll select the shape layer. I'll hit Enter and I'll call it as mask one. Let's call it as mask one. and move this over this minimal select this minimal press f4 and let's make this alpha map so we are going to get something like this now we are going to select the shape layer at this point i'll press r for rotation create one keyframe then press s again and create another keyframe hit u and go to around let's say 2.10 frames let's make rotation 180 degree and let's increase the y size somewhere around like this Then select this say scale keyframe and rotation keyframe and hit F9 like this. Go to the graph editor, select this graph by holding Shift, move these handles over here, then move these handles over here. So we will get this kind of rotation. And at this point, I am going to select this rectangle and I am going to create one rectangle like this. Select this, hit Enter. Let's call it as mask, and hit Control Alt Home. Hit U. Select this, hit Enter. Let's call it as mask two. Select this, move this over here. Press P for position. Create one keyframe. Then select this shape layer. Press P again, and create another keyframe. Go to around three point ten frames. Select this shape layer. Let's move this over here. <coughs> Sorry. Then select this mask and let's move this over here. 
as you can see we have to increase the scale of this thing little bit so press s and let's unlink this and let's increase the scale somewhere around like this select this mask press p and let's move this over here go to the start and again at this point let's move this backward like this okay now select both the position keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this handle over here and move this handle over here so we'll get something like this now select this mask to move this off, uh, in front of text and then choose alpha map so now if you see this animation we will get something like this now select the shape layer again hit u at this point what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create one keyframe at the scale and go few frame forward and let's make this zero like this select those keyframe hit f9 and we'll get something like this and go to the graph editor select this graph let's move this handle only like this now press F4, select all of them and enable this motion blur like this. Now select this minimal text, go to the pair, I mean character menu and choose whatever color you want. For this one, let's choose bluish color like this. And for this one, if you want, then you can choose reddish color or something and you can choose whatever color you want. Let's choose white color only because that looks good to me like this and then like this if you want then you can select this minimal text and choose red color also so it will give you this kind of look so yep that's it for the today's video so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this, then check out these two videos. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, stay tuned.